For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Can you factor this expression x squared minus y squared minus 7x plus 9y minus 8? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video now. Let's see if you got the correct factors. Alright. Now, this question is very interesting because it says that this expression is totally factorable. But the question is, what is the factored form of this expression? Now, in this video, I will show you two different methods to factor this expression. So the first one, I will use the quadratic formula. The second method is I will use the algebraic approach. Alright, so let's start this solution using the quadratic formula. So let's begin. Now since we're using quadratic formula, so we need one variable. Now assume that x is the only variable and y is constant. So let's rearrange some terms a little bit. So we have a quadratic expression in terms of x. So we have x squared minus 7x minus y squared plus 9y minus 8. So the value of x using the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, wherein this a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, and this b is the coefficient of x, which is negative 7, and the c is constant, which is in our expression is just the negative y squared plus 9y minus 8. Now, let's substitute all those given values. So let's substitute all a with 1. Next, all of this b can replace this with negative 7. And this c, we can replace this with negative y squared plus 9y minus 8. Now, let's simplify this equation. So negative of negative 7, this is just positive 7. And we have here negative 7 raised to the power of 2. This is just 49. Now we can distribute this negative 4 to negative y squared and positive 9y and negative 8. So this will give us positive 4y squared minus 36y plus 32. And also we can combine the constant term 49 and 32. And if we add these two numbers, we get 81. Now, another thing to notice here is this 4. We can rewrite this 4 as 2 raised to the power of 2. And also, we can rewrite 2 squared times y squared as 2y raised to the power of 2. And of course, this 81 is just 9 raised to the power of 2. And another thing, this negative 36y, we can rewrite this as negative 2 multiplied by 2y multiply by 9 because 2 times 2 times 9 is 36 and then copy the y. So we can replace negative 36y with negative 2 times 2y times 9. Now the question is why we do those steps? Because of this perfect square trinomial a squared minus 2ab plus b squared because given this pattern we know we can factor this out as a minus b raised to the power of 2. Now notice, we have here in this pattern 2y raised to the power of 2 minus 2 times 2y times 9 plus 9 squared. So we can factor this expression as follows. We have 2y minus 9 raised to the power of 2. So using this identity. And now, we have square root of 2y minus y raised to the power of 2. We can cancel this out. So we have now x equals 7 plus or minus 2y minus 9 divided by 2. Now at this point, let's multiply both sides by 2. And then take note, we have two possible cases here. The first one is we have 7 plus 2y minus 9. And the other case is 7 minus 2y minus 9. Now let's have the first case. So we have here 7 plus 2y minus 9. We can combine 7 and the negative 9. This will give us negative 2. And take note. We have all even coefficients, so we can divide all of this by 2. So this will give us x equals y minus 1. And let's equate this to 0. Alright, 
How about on the second case? So let's distribute this negative sign to 2y and negative 9. So this will give us 7 minus 2y plus 9. And if we add positive 9 and 7, this is just 16. And of course, all of these are even. So let's divide both sides by 2. So this will give us x equals negative y plus 8. Again, let's equate this to 0. Now the purpose of equating to 0 is because those expression on the left hand side are the factors of our expression so therefore the factored form of x squared minus y squared minus 7x plus 9y minus 8 is simply equal to x minus y plus 1 multiplied by x plus y minus 8 and of course we can check this out so x times x we have x squared all right and then x times y, we have xy. Not. x times negative 8 is negative 8x. And then we have negative y times x. So we have negative xy, and this is just 0. y, negative y times y is y squared, negative y squared. And here we go, we have negative y squared. And then negative y times negative 8 we have negative 8 y finally 1 times x is 1x or x so if we combine negative 8x plus x we have negative 7x right over here and we have 1 times y so we have positive y and if we add positive y Oops, we have negative y times negative 8. We have positive 8 right over here. So positive 8y plus y. This is just 9y. And we have 9y right over here. And the last one, 1 multiplied by negative 8. We have here negative 8. All right. So now how about the algebraic approach? So let's see. Now since we know that this expression is factorable, so what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit, like this. Since it is factorable, we have x squared and negative y squared. So we can say that we can factor this out in this format, x plus a, which is constant, plus y, multiplied by x plus b minus y, wherein a and b are both constant term. Because if we multiply x and x, we have x squared, and if we multiply y and negative y, we have y squared. Now, the goal is to find the value of a and b. Now, to do that, let's use chunk multiplication. So, if we do that, we have x plus a plus y multiplied by x multiplied by b multiplied by negative y. All right. Now, here, let's distribute this x to x, a, and y. And if we do that, we get x squared plus ax plus xy. And then let's distribute this b to x, a, and y. So we have bx plus ab plus by. And again, let's distribute this negative y to x, to a, and to y. So we have negative xy minus a, y minus y squared. Now, notice, we have here x squared as expected. We have x squared and we have negative y squared at the end. Also notice that we have here positive xy and the negative xy, so this is just 0. And then, take note that we can factor out the variable x. So we have a plus b multiplied by x. And we can factor out the variable y, so this will give us b minus a multiplied by y. And let's rearrange some terms a little bit. Now, the reason is to have a pattern on our original expression. So the coefficient of x, this is just negative 7. The coefficient of y is 9. And the constant term is negative 8. So we can say that a plus b equals negative 7, b minus a equals 9, and ab is negative 8. And using these two equation, we can now solve for the value of b and a. Because if we add these two equations, take note, if we add this, we can now eliminate negative a and positive a. So this will give us 2b equals 2. Divide both sides by 2. 
So b equals 2 over 2 or simply equal to 1. Now, if b is 1 and a plus b equals negative 7, definitely a equals negative 8. And now, the third equation verifies the values of a and b because if a is negative 8, so negative 8 multiplied by 1, this will give us negative 8. So the third equation verifies the value of a and b. Therefore, in our factored form, this a is negative 8 and this b is just positive 1. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit and there you go. This is the factored form of x squared minus y squared minus 7x plus 9y minus 8. And as always, we are done.